This is Gilfie, a highly experienced female barn owl. She's lived at Fotherdale since 2018. Successfully raising six broods here. The previous partner, Finn, sadly passed away in July 2022. But within a couple of weeks, and Finn's chick still in the nest, this tenacious owl is seen with another male. I wonder who it could be. I notice he has an ID ring. So I look closely through the nest cameras to see who he is. It's Dryer. In 2019, he was rescued from a corn dryer by Jean Thorpe. He was brought here for release and put into Elm Stump at the same time as Finn, Gilfie's previous partner. This just shows the power of ringing. Without this ring, we would never have known Dreyer's story. Fingers crossed Dreyer is up to the job. It's January and this pair is spending a lot of time together. It's beautiful to see their bond getting stronger. Look at them preening each other. This is known as allopreening, and it helps form and maintain strong bonds. They look very content together. Even though it's January, and they won't be laying eggs until the spring. They're keen to find a place to nest. They look around the nest sites here at Fotherdale. Looking at Sycamore, and beach. To see which is the right one for them. It's a promising sign they're going to breed this year. But they're not the only owls here. Tony Owls Bomber and Luna are extremely territorial. and want to make their presence known. And they chase the pair aggressively. Tawny owls are the heavyweights of the British owls. Early one morning, Gilfie's sitting in the entrance of Elmstone when Bomber swipes at her and then comes back for more. They lock talons. Bomber quickly escapes. Fortunately, this altercation doesn't last long and Gilfie appears unharmed. It takes a brave barn owl to take on a tawny, let alone come out on top. And dries in a different nest and totally oblivious. It seems that Gilf is the one to defend their future home. Thankfully, over the next few nights, things calm down. And I see Gilfie making her way over to Ashstump, where she reunites with Dryer. Not only is this Gilfie and Dryer's first year together, but I think this is the first year Dryer has ever paired up too. He's showing very little interest in mating. But the experienced Gilfie is determined to take matters into her own talons and stimulates mating by mounting Dryer. 
It's a fascinating role reversal and something I've never seen in Barnhouse before. And it isn't a one-off. Over the next few weeks, this strange behavior continues, which leaves Dreyer scratching his head. In spite of their strange relationship, Gilfie and Dreyer settle on the elm stump nest and spend more and more time here together. Gilfie's technique of trying to initiate mating seems to be working. Dreyer makes his first attempt, but it doesn't quite go to plan. He perseveres and tries again. And again. He seems to have got the hang of it. Fingers crossed he's been successful. In order to impress during courtship, male barn owls deliver prey to females to show he can provide for them and their future brood. But it seems like Dreyer hasn't got the memo. So Gilfie has to take charge yet again and go and get her own food. When she arrives with prey, Dreyer jumps down and pesters her. He doesn't realise Gilfie shouldn't be providing for him. Regardless, he doesn't give up until Gilfie surrenders a catch, grabbing it, and then dashing off. She does not look impressed. But a few days later, when Gilfie's in Elm alone, Dreyer arrives with a vole. Maybe he's finally learnt his lesson. Or maybe not. He seems reluctant to give up the goods. Gilfie hounds him. But Dreyer tries to hide his prize before leaving. Poorly hidden, or reluctantly left as a gift for Gilfie. Who knows? But regardless, she takes it anyway. I guess it's progress. But Dreyer really needs to up his game. If Gilfie's gonna start laying, she'll need to know for certain she's gonna be provided for. He has some way to go. But at least the mating attempts seem to have gone to plan. Over the next few days, Gilfie looks like she's preparing to lay. And I see her nest scraping. Becoming restless. And then starting to sit. And then finally, at the end of May, she stands up to reveal her first precious egg. It's great news. Dreyer returns an hour and a half later. 
He seems to know there's something different. Buffy stands. But he doesn't see the egg at first. But then he gets a glimpse and is transfixed. Gilfie soon sits back down. Plan owls start incubation from the very first egg. And this one needs to stay warm for the next 30 days. It's been fantastic to see Gilfie find a new mate in Dryer. and for them to welcome their first egg together. But it hasn't been an easy road for Gilfie. She's had to ward off intruders, provide her own food, and even show Dryer how to mate. She really is one of a kind. Tune in next time to see Gilfie add into her precious clutch of eggs. Dryer stepping up a gear in his new role as the main provider. And the pair welcoming their first ever owlet together. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to see more. Here's a taste of what you'll enjoy seeing on this channel.